that was a lot of shuffling. And they're telling me four. Okay. And I have the book to this. You have the book. I only wanted the book for one reason. It was for the affirmation. Okay, so we got... Fertility, sorry, I forgot to put my glasses on. Fertility. So this might mean you're very fertile right now. And I know you're a boy or you're a man, but meaning that you and your partner are very fertile. So if you do not want to have kids right away, because you're not married, <laughs> but um, if you don't want to have kids right away, just make sure you take precautions. But they're saying you're very fertile. It also could mean that you have ideas. You're very fertile with ideas, filled up with ideas, things that you want to do and accomplish. So if you are filled up with those ideas, write them down right away and try to see if maybe you can do that side business or something that you've been thinking about doing, maybe even at your job, um, that it's a little bit on the side and therefore you would need that other partner that could help you. Um, but whenever you're filled up with ideas, that's the orange root chakra that I talked about earlier. Um, wear more orange, wear more peach. Anyway, uh, it, it means that ideas, are, downloads are coming in. Okay. Or it can mean that your partner is uh, very fertile. Okay, so if it's up to you, if, if that's what you want to do. Um, and is she, is her job in the medical field as well? Okay, let me know. Uh, then we got the universe card for tw at 21. And this is leaving it up to the universe. Start reaching out to the universe. Universe has everything that we need. You need better a job. The universe has it. So what you have to say is, I'm so happy and grateful now that I got my dream job. And then explain a little bit in a couple of paragraphs, what would your dream job be? I'm working 40 hours a week, or maybe you don't like that. I'm working 30 hours a week, but I'm getting paid uh, $300 an hour. Okay. You know, you can make it whatever you want. I'm getting paid well. I'm doing, I'm, I'm with people that enjoy me and embrace me and appreciate my gifts and talents. I, um, every once in a while I have to go on a traveling trip and they pay for everything. Um, so, you know, you have to write it out how you want it, but the universe is always there for us. So you could always fall back on the universe and just say, thank you, universe, universe. I would like to be in a happy relationship. Okay. I'm so happy and grateful now that I'm in a happy relationship. Even if it's not happy, you say it that way. Because if you say, oh, universe and God, I'm so unhappy in my relationship. Nothing seems to get better. I'm so darned unhappy. So the universe says, okay, that's what you want. I'll give you more unhappy love relationship. You can't say to the universe, universe, I hate my job. I'm stuck, though, because I can't pay my bills unless I have this job. And the universe goes, okay, let me keep you in that job forever. Because you're not saying it the right way. So act as if you already have. Act as if it already happened, that you got that dream job. You got that dream soulmate person, that your relationship improved, um, you know, 300%. Uh, after you told your spouse or your your significant other how you felt and how you, what you wanted differently, okay? And then things started to get better because communication was better, all right? So ask the universe. Then I got the fourth, third card I got was number seven, deception and envy. Now I'm going to ask you a question about this card because, because it says number seven, um... I'm gonna link it up to I'm gonna link it up to the seventh month, which is July, which we're in right now. Yesterday was the seventh. Today is the eighth, which is really the ninth, because you know today is tomorrow. Okay, anyhow. 
Did somebody disappoint you or was somebody deceptive? Is there a snake in the grass around you? Let me know. Is there somebody who you're not trusting? Use your gut instinct. You're always usually 99% correct. Okay? Don't go against your gut feeling. Even if that person seems like they're the Pope. All right? But you have a feeling that they did something to you. You have to go at them and find out what it was. And be be um, acquiescent of that. Be cognizant that they will probably lie. See how they wear a mask? They have one face that they show to you. And they act like they're giving to you in some way. What? Aren't you glad I'm letting you be my friend type of thing? But then they have other mask and their snake under that other mask. Okay, I hope you understand what, what I'm coming from. Okay, look look what I said before that um, one of the chakras that you need help in is the third eye which is purple, which is right here. And so a good way to do your chakras, just, just think about the chakra colors, like your head could just be white or gold or silver and, or like a, a glittery color. And that's on top of your head. It's just a white light. It's beautiful. It looks like the sun. Right? And it's rotating on your head and it's making your head feel warm. You keep your eyes closed and think of it. It'll only take you like five minutes or less. Then you think of that energy. It turned into purple or lilac, whatever you like better. And it's resonating over here in your third eye. And it's going up and down, up and down. Just like my smoke, up and down. And it's purplish a pretty purple lavender, just like my paintings, and it's going up and down, up and down, and you feel at peace. And then it comes down all the way to your throat. It's the energy, it's an energy ball, and it rolls around in your throat, and the white light and the purple light all turn blue, dark blue, then maybe light blue, but blue in itself, indigo blue, blue, Blue. And then it goes down a little bit further and it turns, that ball energy turns green, green, the heart chakra. And then has little specks of pink in it. And then it goes down to the stomach area and it turns yellow, very much yellow. A lot of people don't wear yellow enough. They don't have yellow underwear. They don't light a yellow candle enough. They don't buy Katrina's yellow paintings enough. I have one, two, three, and one back there. I have four yellow paintings. That would be awesome for people to buy because your solar plexus is your gut feeling. Your solar plexus is your ulcers and your stomach area. You're having trouble eating, you're having trouble digesting, you're having trouble with really standing up for yourself and your power. That's the solar plexus, and that color is yellow. Okay. Believe in yourself. Believe in your gut feeling. Always go by your gut feeling. It will never prove you wrong. Okay. Any questions? Okay. Yeah, no, this isn't alive. This is not alive. Okay. Now, before I do my reading, I did a lot of cards, but I'm, this is messages from heaven. I'm just going to do a quick messages from heaven and see what we get done. I'm asking my spirit guides in heaven to please shine down here for my friend, Virgo. He was born on September... September 2nd, 1994, and I would like to know messages, put them in my head, and I'll tell him 
put them in, in the cards that I'll show him, but messages for initials N-A-P, Mr. Virgo I call him, and I just messages that will help him to understand what journey he needs to go on, messages that you want to say to him, anything any people who have passed. We have one letter, uh, K. Her name starts with a K. Her name is not K, but it starts with a K. And I know she's talked to us before, a long time ago. She talked to her mother-in-law. Um, and then we also have your grandpa. I think his name starts with a P. I think it's Peter, but I'm not sure. So I'm just going to say any of your ancestors for N-A-P, initials N-A-P, and I'll say his name in my mind three times. has an importance to you, but I just heard six. Okay. All right. This is what I told you before. I don't know if you believe me because you're not answering me back. Okay. <laughs> um, I have become one of you guides. So somebody in heaven that knows you has become one of your guides. So you could say, if I was to say, what's their name on the count of three and you just blurt out their name. Let's say, you, you blurt out their name. The person that's in heaven that you think would say that they're your spirit guide and you want them to be your spirit guide, on three, you're gonna just blurt out their name. You ready? One, who's your spirit guide? Two, who's your spirit guide? Three. Okay. Whoever that person is, that's your spirit guide. And you can ask them questions. You can ask them for, to, for protection. You can ask them to show you some signs. Okay. So I have become one of your guides. So you're down here and they are up there in heaven the galaxy and in heaven okay so just remember that they are indeed your guide the next thing I got was I will always give you a good a, a good night kiss which is really nice so look for hearts and look to feel just to see if you feel somebody kissing you or just standing near you when you're laying in bed not in a creepy way just when you're laying in bed or when you're getting ready to go to bed and you're stressing out about different things, you can't sleep, your guide, say their name, and they will always come over and give you a kiss. Okay? Now we have, I was met by so many loving people. to hear that yeah they, they go I, I didn't want him to think I was alone I didn't want him to think that I was like all scared all by myself but she keeps wanting to, maybe she's the one who wanted to say sorry she keeps wanting to say sorry that she didn't mean to leave you that way she wanted to be a better person and instead she made a mistake so she's very very sorry and she hopes that you accept her apology because love doesn't die she said love never dies we care about somebody it just goes on to the next realm 
my mind is free. And I just heard, this is for two people that you know. Two people that you know in heaven. This is, this card is for them. Oh. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. So in your head, please close your eyes now. And I'm going to say it to you. When I say it to you, in your head, or if you don't want anybody to hear you, say it in your head, or if you're alone, say it out loud. Okay? When I say three, close your eyes. One, two, three. Close your eyes. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Okay. So whatever you said is whatever you wanted to do in your heart. Okay. Just remember, when you forgive somebody, you heal, heal your heart too. Okay. I like this one a lot. You are never ever alone. You are never alone. Just and I have to tell you now this is another symbol. So the symbol of hearts, the symbol of feeling like you're going to get a kiss goodnight or somebody's went like that to your cheek and lighthouses. They will show you lighthouses. Lighthouses will come about in a weird way. Like all of a sudden you'll turn around here and there'll be a lighthouse, a uh, little statue of a lighthouse. Then you'll go home, you put the TV on, and there's like some documentary about lighthouses. Then you'll be driving in your car and somebody has a mural and there's a picture of a lighthouse. Okay, that's this person in heaven trying to tell you, I'm still here. I'm still here. Okay, so hearts, somebody kissing you on the cheek but just standing near your bed to try to calm you down, tell you that it's okay, and lighthouses. I hope you enjoyed those messages. I tried to work hard on your reading because I really want, I really want your you to feel peace from it and feel hope from it. thing before I read the notes, but I just have to get my book. Hold on one second. It's an affirmation. There's three things I warmly wish for you. Someone to love, some work to do, a bit of sun, a bit of cheer, and a guardian angel always near. Peace be with you, my friend. That's very beautiful. This person who is reading this comment, I wish you great success, health, love, and happiness. My twin flame and I are predestined to come into union, marriage, and the whole nine yards, but also means that we are divine on a divine mission. I am so ready. I have not occupied the same space with him in over 40 years. We met when we were five years old, but the magnetic attraction just began to next, just 
be next to each other was indescribable at a time when we were too young for love. He passed away and was reborn 27 years ago. I didn't know it until I was in critical care. Wow. Oh, that one's a long one. Oh, that one. If, oops, there's really good stuff. What, what am I watching? Twin flame music, meditation music. You just put in meditation music, twin flame meditation music, um, or you put in Jason Stevenson. Okay, so now I just want to read you from Louise Hay an affirmation that is good for your health in your particular conditions. Okay, um, so every once in a while, just listen to this tape, listen to my videos um, that are for Virgo, Mr. Virgo, uh, and there should be four or five of them. Um, if I can't I seem to wrap it up, because I go on forever, but it's only 3.17, so I'll sleep when I'm dead, okay? All right, um, so I want you to think about this. If you have lupus, um, or other people out there, if you have lupus, which I th thought that you said you did, it's a, the reason why is a giving up, better to die than stand up for oneself, anger and punishment. And the affirmation for that lupus is, I speak up for myself freely and easily. I claim my own power. I love and approve of myself. I am free and safe. Anything with lymph problems, um, the reason why you might have it is a warning that the mind, that the mind and, sorry, a warning that the mind needs to be recentered on the essentials of life, love and joy. Only thing you worry about is love and joy. Love is with your family, then your friendships, then your significant others. Joy is joy in your job, joy, passion in your life. What brings you joy? What do you want to do for eight hours a day to make money? That's joy, okay? And you don't feel like it's even work. Okay, and the affirmation you're supposed to do is, I am now totally centered in love and joy of being alive. I flow with life. Peace of mind is mine. Peace of mind is mine. I am now totally centered in the love and joy of life, being alive. I flow with life. Peace of mind is mine. Okay, so that was for lymph problems. Lupus is, I speak up for myself freely and easily. I claim my own power. I love and approve of myself. I am free and safe. Okay, I love and approve of myself. I am free and safe. Okay, then... Um, I, I think I heard you got a lot of migraine headaches, and I do too, and it might be part of your spiritual awakening. Um, so, we're going through your dark n night of the moon, um, or the shadow self. So when you get a headache, it's it usually means dislike of being driven, like you want to be in control, you want to be the person who's, you know, making the major decisions. Resisting the flow of life. We all have to say, go with the flow, okay? But when we resist it, that's when we get a lot of the headaches. Um, sexual, resisting the flow of life. Sexual fears can usually be relieved by masturbation. Okay, I didn't write the book. She wrote the book, okay? Or, um horizontal mambo okay if you're not sure what that is watch some of my other videos okay you'll find out all right so the affirmation for migraine headaches are is i relax into the flow of life 
and let life provide all that I need easily and comfortably. Life is for me. I relax into the flow of life and let life provide all that I need easily and comfortably. Life is for me. Okay. Now, um, when people buy artwork from me, I send these affirmations out to them and a whole bunch of other affirmations with the colors that you need. Um, but I think you got it. I think you got it when you bought um, the couple of artworks I sent it to you. Um, I thought there was one more. One more. Okay, the eyes. Now, I'm getting, I was even drawing a picture when I was watching TV on my break. And uh, do you have trouble with your eyes? Do your eye sockets hurt? Because um, I was getting, you know, like feeling like there was knives in the, in the eyes, in the eye socket. So I said, let me ask the Virgo. Um, we'll get them checked, first of all. And any problems with the eyes, even early onset glaucoma could be the reason it is, the metaphysical reason, is stony unforgiveness, uh, pressure from long-standing hurts, overwhelmed by it all. And the affirmation is, I see with love and tenderness. I see with love and tenderness. I see with love and tenderness. Your eyes can get better if you really believe in the affirmations. Some people have nearsighted or myopia, and that is fear of the future. And affirmation is, I accept divine guidance and I am always safe. I accept divine guidance and I am always safe. Well, some people have a wall-eyed extropia. I'm not sure what that means. And that's fear of looking at the present right here, being in the now. And affirmation is, I love and approve of myself right now. I love and approve of myself right now. I love and approve of myself right now. Okay. All right, I think there was one for the heart. Anywhere where you have lymph nodes. So actually, I'm going to go to lymph nodes, which I might have read to you already, but let's see. Okay. Yeah, I did do lymph problems. A warning that the mind needs to be recentered on the essentials of life. The most important thing in life is not how much money you make, not how many kids you have, not how many houses you own. It's about love and joy. Joy and love. That's it. So the affirmation is, I am now totally centered in the love and joy of being alive. I flow with peace. I flow with life. And peace of mind is mine. Peace of mind is mine. Yeah, it's not so easy to talk at 324, and you've already taken your sleep medicine. Yeah. Do I look sleepy? I think not. And so the problem of Katrina, since age six. Ooh, the bell rang on that one. Okay, so now I'm just going to do a quick read because we are coming into the end. All right. So Virgo, um, I got colors and flowers in spring being much happier than your winter was. Um, yeah, especially around March, uh, February, March, I felt terrible energy wise and, um, not seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, but July... August and September, you're going to feel much better. I'm not saying there's no challenges. There are challenges. But appreciate the traveling. Appreciate music. Get music in your life again. Even if it's meditation music or old music that you used to listen to, it does something to the chakras in the body. 
does something to every chakra that you have in your body, especially the lower orange area, which is your reproductive organs, and your uh, crown chakra, which is everything to do with the spirit, spiritual awakening, psychic ability, and just feeling dopamine, um, feeling joy. You know, people um, take pills all the time because they need, to, they want to feel happy, they're depressed. But if they would just put a Jason Stevenson video on and really just listen to it as they're working, as they're doing whatever, and it raises the dopamine levels and the serotonin levels in the brain, so therefore making you, you don't need to take so much medication, okay? So, um chances to undo past mistakes that, that I feel you were very worried about that Virgo um, like oh I made all these mistakes and I'm never going to be able to undo them because one person's in heaven and the other person um, just won't talk to me um, but the, the universe is saying yes you will um, have some chances to undo some past mistakes Okay, even if it's just talking about it with your significant other or talking about it with your family um, or your best friend, um, that, that always makes things get better. Okay, so uh, appreciate the music, appreciate traveling, realize your past mistakes, need to self. Um, also, your past mistakes are to do with not letting enough people help you. Um, and just saying, oh yeah, I'm listening, I'm listening, but then you weren't listening. So um, that's okay, because you, Virgo, you want to do everything yourself. You want to help yourself, and you want to help everybody else too. But you got to take somebody's hand. You got to let them, because if you let them help you, then you're making them feel good. Then you're making them feel like they're a part of your life, and that they're, they're actually connected to you. Because that's the thing, if you're a hermit, People can't get connected to you because the hermit's just like all in his own head and just waiting around for an answer from the universe. And people around you love you, so they want to help you with your answers. Okay, so um, need to self-realize, self-realization, and that's coming. A lack of confidence, you got to fix that, okay? Because nothing great happens if you have lack of confidence. Um... So realize your self-worth, and that would be the affirmations. I am good enough. I am worthy. I am safe. I am creative. Um, I, I think I sent you those 